Hello, I'm Clemens Portler from Interactive Instruments and I will introduce the work in OWS8 related to improvements in schema automation with a focus on metadata profiles and additional constraints not represented in XML schema. Other schema automation work in OWS8 where application schemas in UML were converted to other representations were conversion to RDFS, OWL and SCOS as part of the semantic mediation activity and conversion to KML and XSRD transformations as part of the KML portrayal activity. In this presentation, we look into the improvements related to conversions to XML schema and Schematron. These improvements include support for ISO 10115 metadata profiles. In addition to applying the ISO 10139 encoding rule, an additional tag value has been used to suppress XML schema components for types that are only used as an anchor for constraints in the profile. Furthermore, OCL's schema join encoding rule extensions to support the ISO 10139 encoding rule and the proposed GML 3.3 encoding rule extensions have been specified and implemented. In addition, OCL-led expressions are now supported. Finally, additional support for schema join assertions for validating code list value and unit constraints have been specified and partially implemented. The schema trend assertions allow for an automated validation of references to entries in registry. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the steps involved. Our shape change tool takes a UML model which may contain application schema or metadata profile and creates resources to validate GML features and or ISO 10139 metadata against the requirements expressed in the application schema. Basic syntactic requirements are expressed using XML schema. All other constraints are expressed using Schematron. To validate an instance document, the validator first validates the files against the XML schemas of the namespaces used in the instance document. In the second step, the validator processes each Schematron assertion against the XML instance. Some of the assertions include references to remote XML documents in a code list or units of measurement registry. These resources are accessed by the validator as needed and are then used in the validation process too. We found that Schematron is powerful enough to express complex constraints. It has been possible to specify encoding rules so that also complex assertions could be derived automatically from application schemas in UML both for GML features and ISO 10139 metadata instances. However, the ISO 10115 profiling approach to allow code list values for properties where the data type is character string is not consistent with UML and thus is an issue in implementation as this breaks OCL parsers. Thank you for your attention.